welcome to my channel. This is the story of R&B group Shalimar. Shalimar is an American R&B and soul music vocal group active since the late 70s and throughout the 80s. Their classic lineup on the Solar label consisted of Howard Hewitt, Jody Watley, and Jeffrey Daniel. Together with dancer Jermaine Stewart, it was originally a disco-driven group created by Soul Train booking agent Dick Griffey and show creator and producer Don Cornelius. As noted in the British hit singles and albums, they were regarded as fashion icons and helped to introduce body popping to the United Kingdom. Their name was created by Dick Griffey. The first hit credited to Shalimar was Uptown Festival in 1977, which was recorded at the Icantina studio, Bolick Sound in 1976. It was released on Soul Train Records. Its success inspired Dick Griffey and Don Cornelius to replace session singers with producer, with popular Soul Train dancers, Jody Watley and Jeffrey Daniel, to join original Stalamar Lee singer, Gary Mumford. Gerald Brown took over the spot vacated by Gary for the group's second album, Disco Gardens in 1978, which featured the hit, Take That to the Bank. After conflicts over the lack of payment from Jeffrey and Solar and acronym for Sound of Los Angeles Records, Gerald Brown left the group. Howard Hewitt replaced Gerald in 1979. The group joined up with producer Leon Silvers III in 1979, signed with Solar and scored a US million dollar seller with the second time around in 1979. The classic lineup of Hewitt, Watley and Daniel will be the most successful. In the UK, the group had a stream of hits with songs such as Take That to the Bank in 78, I Owe You One in 1980 and songs from the Friends in 1982 album. I Can Make You Feel Good in 1982, A Night to Remember, There It Is, and the title track, Friends. The album, which crossed the genres of pop, disco, and soul was also a big seller in the UK in 82. The group's record sales in the UK increased when Jeffrey Daniel's record sales in the UK increased when Jeffrey Daniel demonstrated his body popping dancing skills on BBC Television's music program, Top of the Pops, which had premiered the moonwalk on TV for the first time. Michael Jackson was a fan of Shalomar, particularly Jeffrey, in his dance moves. After watching him on Soul Train, Michael and Daniel met afterward and took Michael, his then 12-year-old little sister Janet, to see Shalomar perform at Disneyland. Jeffrey and Michael co-choreographed Michael's Bad and Smooth Criminal videos from the album Bad in 1987. The Hewitt, Watley, Daniel lineup of Shalomar scored a total of five gold albums in the U.S. Big Fun in 1979, Three for Love in 1980, which eventually went platinum, The Look in 1983, and Heartbreak in 1984. In 1983, prior to the release of The Look, Jody Watley and Jeffrey Daniel left Shalomar due to conflicts within the group as well as issues with Dick Griffey and Solar Records. Although The Look wasn't as successful as Friends had been the previous year, it still yielded a number one of hit singles in the UK, including Disappearing Act, the Grammy-nominated Dead Giveaway in Over and Over, and featured more of a new wave synth pop sound than previous albums. After Mickey Free and Delisa Davis replaced Daniel and Jody Watley in their lineup, Shalomar reached number 17 on the Billboard Hot 100 with Dancing in the Sheets, featured on the movie Footloose soundtrack album, and contributed to Don't Get Stopped in Beverly Hills, written by Hewitt. Free and David Hawk Lewinsky to the Beverly Hills Cop soundtrack, which won the 1985 Grammy Award for Best Album of Original Score Written for a Motion Picture or Television Special. The award was given to all 14 of the soundtrack songwriters. Both Dancing in the Sheets and Don't Get Stopped in Beverly Hills were included on Shalimar's eighth album, The Gold Selling Heartbreak, released in November 1984. Hewitt departed the group in 1985 to begin his solo career. Sidney Justin took over as lead vocalist for Circumstantial Evidence in 1987, co-produced by Babyface and L.A. Reid, and Wake Up in 1990. Shalimar's final pair of albums before they departed. In 1996, Watley performed with Hewitt and Dean on Babyface's million-selling record, This Is For The Lover In You, a cover of a hit single from Shalimar's platinum album, Three For Love, in 1980. A music video was shot in which the three former members of the group were digitally reunited on screen. Hewitt, Wiley, and Daniel subsequently joined Babyface and LL Cool J to perform the song on the UK's Top of the Pops in 1996. All right, y'all. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.